Hi, this is Pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In today's video, we're going to continue on with the 101 series. Today, it's going to be Zeljans. And before we get into it, thumbs up, please, and subscribe as well. Let me know how I'm doing. But jumping right into Zeljans, uh, a newer drug, um, and it's used primarily in arthritic conditions. So we have uh, PSA, which is psoriatic arthritis, RA, which is rheumatoid arthritis, and then we have also ulcerative colitis. Um, Zeljans is not generally a first-line therapy. Um, it's used kind of as a backup when other things fail. But um, how it works in the body, what we have here is a JK inhibitor and MOA as a mechanism of action, how it works in the body. So JK is Janus kinase inhibitor. And that's a really fancy way of saying that Janus kinase is an enzyme that works in your body to allow certain uh, things to signal essentially and that's what when you inhibit that Janus kinase what it basically does is it it blocks the cytokines cytokines can be a type of inflammatory uh, director it stops those cytokines from signaling again when we have inflammation in our body is good for for example immune response it's part of the immune response um, and it's bad when it gets out of hand. So a lot of the rheumatoid drugs, they find different ways to address inflammation. That can lead to problems down the road as well. So, but long story short, cytokine signaling, and it, it can help in these conditions. With that being said, now we're gonna jump into the side effects and you can see that right away, the biggest one is in infections of 20 to 22% of folks can see infection rates go up. Again, that's because we're we're essentially blocking inflammation, which is early on a good thing in our immune system. Uh, nasopharyngitis, so some of those head, head cold uh, inflammation type things, three to 14% of folks, and we have headache, three to 9%. You can actually see, if they're measuring your blood levels, you can see the cholesterol actually go up on your blood panels in five to 9% of people, so something that you want to keep an eye out for, discuss with your doctor if you see that happen. So do DI, do we have any drug interactions? And the answer is we do. We want to be careful about what we're using it with. And that includes the SIP, I misspelled there, it should be SIP, C-Y-P-3-A-4. Those are a group of liver enzymes and certain drugs can block those liver enzymes. Well, this is the same enzyme that breaks down cell jams. If you block that enzyme, Zeljans will not be broken down as much, which causes blood levels to go up, which can cause more side effects. So we want to watch it with drugs, <clears throat> pardon me, that block that CYP3A4 enzyme. Um, I'll throw a few out there. You have your macrolide antibiotics, you have your um, like erythromycin, you have your azole antifungals like fluconazole, and you also have some of the HIV medications. There are others, but ask your pharmacist, ask your doctor, and they can look that up for you. Just something to keep in mind. Um, we also know, obviously, from discussing the side effects, anything that lowers your immune system, any other drug, tacrolimus, cyclosporin, those sorts of things, want to be very careful about using Zeljans. And you don't want to use Zeljans with a, what are called biological DMARDs. That's a fancy term for disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Basically, um, your Embrel, your Humira, those types of things, biological DMARDs, don't want to use those with the Zeljans. What you can use it with is non-biological DMARDs. So if you have rheumatoid arthritis, there's a very good chance the first drug they put you on was methotrexate. It's fine to use Zeljans with methotrexate because it's a non-biological DMARD. Um, we want to monitor your ALC, your absolute lymphocyte count. Uh, let's see here. We also want to keep an eye on um, neutrophils and your hemoglobin. So the doctor is definitely going to want to do some labs on those things to keep tabs on how you're doing. Hair loss and weight gain, I include it now in every video because I get it asked all the time on medications. Um, hair loss and weight gain does not appear to be much of an issue at all. I will point out um, that you never know, but based off the studies, it's, it's not anything to worry about. 
The thing to possibly worry about is Zaljans can get expensive, as can any of these newer rheumatic drugs. Almost all the drug companies offer some sort of financial assistance, so I'll make sure to include a link to that in the description. And usually you can get help, and I know of insurance companies where Zeljan is one of their preferred drugs, which means they'll pay for it right out of the gate before they would an Umbrella or a Humira. So um, at any rate, it's an option um, if, if you're finding that you're not getting relief. We just put a patient on this this last week because there was a payment issue, <clears throat> pardon me, with the Humira. She couldn't afford it anymore, so we went to Zeljan's. We'll see how that works out, but it's an option. Um, again, Curtis Alexander, I'm a pharmacist. Thumbs up, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing. Uh, if you have questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I appreciate you watching and until the next video, uh, thanks for watching.